Hello, Mathies. Gatos here. In this video, we're going to cover nested chain rule. So this is used anytime I'm doing the derivative of a composite function, where when I do the derivative of that inside part, I have to apply the chain rule again. So we're just going to apply it as many times as needed. So I have two examples to go over with you. In this first one here, I have a radical function. And I'm going to rewrite this as a power function to the one half. Once I do that, now I can take the derivative applying chain rule. So I'll bring the one half down, keep my base the same, and then decrease my power by one. Now here comes the chain rule part. So I'm gonna do the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x plus x squared plus one squared, derivative of that, bring the two down, decrease my power by one, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay, let's tidy this up now. So here I have one half times. I'm going to simplify my um, base here because sometimes it'll work out that you can have something that you take the square root of. So always a good idea to simplify wherever you can. So x squared squared and then 2x squared plus 1 multiplied by 2 times 4, or sorry, 2 times 2x is 4x, and I'm going to distribute that inside. So I have 1 plus 4x cubed plus 4x. So just continue simplifying here. I'm going to have 4x cubed plus 4x plus 1 in the numerator all over, I lost my exponent, let's put that back, negative a half, um, 2 times the square root of negative 1 half when it comes down will be the square root in the denominator of x exponent 4 plus 2x squared plus x plus 1. So write your x's in descending order. So that would be my final derivative. I see there's nothing further that I can simplify, so I know that I'm done. Let's try this example here. So this is a reciprocal function, and again, I'm going to write it as a power function by taking the denominator and raising it to the negative one exponent. Okay, now that I've done that, I can take the first derivative. So chain rule, I bring the exponent down, decrease my exponent by one, so that's the power rule part. The chain rule part comes in that we're doing the derivative of the inside now. So the derivative of x plus 2x plus 1 squared, I bring the 2 down, decrease my exponent by 1, multiply by the derivative of the inside. So now we're going to just tidy all this up. So f prime of x is negative 1 times, again I'm going to simplify this inside part. So I have, expanding my binomial, 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. And I'll do the same thing here. So 2 times 2 is 4. That's what I will distribute in. I almost forgot my exponent again. There we go, negative 2. Oops, there we go. So here I'm going to have 1 plus 4 times 2x and 4 times 1. Okay, now we have negative 1 times 8x plus 5 over, and let's tidy up our terms here, 4x squared plus 5x plus 1. Since it's in the denominator, it's now positive 2. Now, I would like to factor my denominator because I'm hoping it's going to cancel with something in my numerator. I see in this particular example that's not the case, but if we do it every time, we'll catch it for the time that it is the case. So. You could distribute the negative 1 in, you can leave it out, I'm okay with either. And then in the denominator, I know that this factors 4x squared plus 5x plus 1 factors as 4x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. Since that quadratic was squared, each of its factors would be squared. Again, nothing to simplify there, but always a good idea just to check. So I don't usually use the chain rule. But when I do, it's because I have a composite function, and that's when you should use it too. So I hope that this video helped. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I can help more Mathies like you. And I look forward to seeing you for the next video.